holy smokes everyone we need to talk about some huge details that just came out today on exactly the federal reserve's plan uh, with the latest federal reserve minutes that released that gives us investors uh, a lot more clues and a lot more clarity on exactly what they're going to do now if you miss this don't worry i'm going to break it down exactly for you i'll uh, tell you what this all means because um there's definitely some great insights uh, for this latest meeting minutes and this is going to have big consequences uh, for stocks for cryptocurrencies even gold and silver as well uh, and especially the housing market so i'll quickly summarize it for you all for all you guys uh, to tell you exactly what this means so like i was going over uh, in my video yesterday the federal reserve is getting a lot more hawkish even the doves on the federal reserve board uh, they're becoming a lot more hawkish which just means they're going to get more aggressive with fighting inflation by lifting interest rates and by tapering their balance sheet now the biggest thing that spooked the markets in december was not only when the federal reserve announced they were going to start lifting interest rates but also when they announced they're going to start aggressively tapering their balance sheet much faster than they did in 2018. Now what you have to know about in 2018 is um, when interest rates, when the Federal Reserve last tried to do their uh, interest rate hike cycle to bring interest rates back to normal, um, the markets didn't really freak out all that much when the Federal Reserve started lifting interest rates um, in 2016. When they until they peaked in 2018 what the market really freaked out about was when the federal reserve started selling off its balance sheet so on the federal reserve's balance sheet they have u.s treasuries and mortgage-backed securities now they're now selling off at a rate of around 40 to 50 billion dollars per month um, and what that causes is is it causes the yields on the u.s treasuries to go up so that causes all loans and uh, credit to go up, it becomes more expensive. And we all know this economy relies on debt and relies on credit, because that's actually how new money is created via loans uh, in the system. So also what that does with selling mortgage-backed securities is it also makes mortgage rates go up. So that's why it has such a big effect on the markets. And um, I've shown in previous videos before, if you can put up the central bank's balance sheets uh, around the world, uh, with a chart against the S&P 500 um, it's pretty correlated with what the central banks are doing and the markets have become addicted to this low interest rates and money printing because what was most reasons why people started investing in 2020 and 2021 even people that normally don't invest in all or know really anything about investing they saw how much the government was printing how much the Federal Reserve was printing you know all the money printer means were going on and so people are saying, there's no way I'm gonna hold these dollars and um, I'm gonna start putting my cash into the market because I know my money is going to get devalued. So that's why we saw a bunch of people heading into the markets because of Tina, there is no other alternative. But what happens if interest rates go up to 5% and there is all of a sudden is an alternative? especially for retirees that had, weren't able to rely on fixed income anymore when interest rates went to zero. Imagine if all these retirees that piled into stocks because they had no other choice, all of a sudden start piling into bonds again. That's another question. But going back to the start of the video, what the Federal Reserve announced and the clarity we have now. What they announced is they are going to start selling off now this is not official yet but this is what they were debating in the meeting but i think it's going to be pretty likely that they're going to go through with it they're going to start selling off 95 billion dollars per month of of assets off their balance sheet um i think it'll be about 60 billion of us treasuries and 35 billion of mortgage-backed securities so this is what kind of spooked the markets today because we've all known they're going to lift interest rates but we haven't been quite sure on exactly what they're going to do with their balance sheet so this is creating lots of uncertainty because even if the federal reserve 
doesn't lift interest rates to uh, 2% or 3% should I say, I think 2% is already cooked into the books. If they sell trillions and trillions of dollars off their balance sheet, well, then that's gonna cause interest rates uh, to go up regardless of what the federal funds rate does. Because a lot of banks go off uh, what the 10 year treasury yield does uh, for their lending in the 30 year. So we need to pay close attention to the May meeting. That's gonna be pivotal to see if they actually do implement it. Now also there's a lot of debate whether they'll do 50 basis point hikes. Um, the markets are like I said, pricing in 75% chance they'll do a 50 basis point hike uh, during the next meeting in May. And there's no meeting in April, so I don't see why they can't just double it up and do a 50 basis point hike. Um, but the question will be if, if they do more than one 50 basis point hike or if all the hikes um, throughout the next year are 50 basis points instead of 0 0.25. Now, some economists and markets are forecasting that uh, the Federal Reserve could lift interest rates to 2.5% by the end of the year. Now, that's much higher than what they were saying. Remember, remember at the start of the year, December, or the end of 2021 and early 2022, December, when they were saying, don't worry, guys, we're only going to do three to four rate hikes this year. Well, it seems like every month now, they're having to get more and more aggressive. Or really, that is because they're way, way behind the curve. Now, the question we all want to know is, will the selling continue? Will it get worse? Should we sell everything and wait till interest rates hit two and a half, three percent try to time the market and buy at the bottom? Well, that could work. It could very well work. Um, if the Federal Reserve does actually do what it says it will do, I think that could work. But what I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking will happen is, it's looking very likely we're going to enter into a recession and really we could be in a recession i think we are in a recession now but we don't know it because we don't have the data yet because it takes two consecutive quarters so six months of data of negative gdp for us to know if we're in a recession or not so we could be in a recession right now so what i think could happen and this is why it may not be a good idea to you know sell off everything and try to time the market for this crash is once the data does come out to say we are officially in a recession then I think the Federal Reserve is going to U-turn and I think we will see money printing and quantitative easing like we've never seen before because every single crash every single recession they have to 10x what they did the previous recession to get the same result 2008, the government did about $700 billion of uh, stimulus or bailouts to save the banks. Um, now in 2020, they did seven uh, to $10 trillion worth of stimulus, quantitative easing and bailouts to save the banks and the economy. If we do enter another recession, they're gonna have to do much more. But th the catch here is this recession compared to the last two in 2008 and 2020 we have much higher inflation so will the federal reserve and the government be able to provide much more stimulus now if inflation goes down because of a recession and uh, we are in a recession people losing their jobs and it becomes a big political issue to save the markets well yes um, they will be they will I think provide huge amounts of stimulus and They'll continue to bail out the markets But the second big risk is it could go the other way if inflation doesn't go down and actually gets higher And it's still in the 8 to 10 percent range Well, then that's stagflation for you, baby. And there's really nothing the Federal Reserve can do there and I think the uh, The market could drop more so these are the scenarios of what could possibly happen, everyone. Now, what I'm thinking is more likely is the Federal Reserve is going to U-turn, like I said. They're going to print more money and they're going to sacrifice the middle class like they do in every recession. They're going to make some excuse to save the banks 
and the markets will keep going higher. So people, I'm not selling, I'm not panicking right now. Or only really start to question uh, even thinking about selling or panicking if the Federal Reserve actually goes above 3%. So if we do continue to see more selling over the next week or two, I'll be buying. Uh, like I said, I'm I've only putting 40% of my cash out of the 60. Uh, I'm only putting 40% of my cash out of the 100 100% cash position I've built. Uh, into the markets right now. I'm not going all in, okay? So if a, if a bigger drawdown does come, well then I've got more cash on the sidelines to buy. Like I said, I've already brought a bunch of gold and silver. I'm happy with my position there. So now, what I'm using to diversify is into stocks, cryptocurrencies, and I've already got my own home, which is giving me some asset allocation to real estate. So everyone, that was just a quick update of what the Federal Reserve is doing why the markets are falling right now. Do you think it'll get worse or do you think this is a good buy the dip opportunity? The sun's now coming out, hallelujah, let me know.